Why hello there everybody, this is MDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red on this fine Monday evening on January 27th, 2014. Yes, that's the date today. And in this episode, we are going to progress on further down into this route. But first of all, there is one thing that I want to do before we go head down on that route, and that is to try and catch a Cubone. And the, w and the only place that you can catch a Cubone in this game, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure you could probably catch it in another cave somewhere, but... As far as I know, at this moment in time, this is the only area where you can get a Cubone. I may be wrong, but if I am wrong, you can obviously comment in the video below and say that there are other areas where you can catch a Cubone and let me know which specific area you're talking about, and I'll try and... Well, I know I won't obviously try and catch one in the other areas that they, that they might possibly be in, but... For now, considering we're here and that you can catch a Cubone in this tower, I'm going to go ahead and do so. So, I'll see you inside a Cubone battle. Yeah, I'll see you then. Well, turns out I was wrong because the Pokemon Tower is still infested with a bunch of Ghastlies. So, I went in there and I just checked and all the battles that I came across or encountered was um, just a bunch of Ghastlies. I didn't come across any Cubones or anything. So, obviously you can't catch any there even after you've purified the Marowak or the Cubone's mother, Marowak. They're, they're still just a bunch of gaslies in there because I thought once you've um, purified the tower that there'd be a bunch of cubones in there because obviously a cubone's mother was in there so I thought a bunch of cubones will be residing in that tower but no there isn't so yeah I guess I was wrong there then <laughs> is this the building where perhaps oh no it's not because there isn't um, a professor oaks uh, one of the one of his um, employees are in here but, uh, it's Pokemon Tower. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so let's get out of here then. I don't want to be in here. I thought there would be, um, one of those professors in there, but obviously not. God, I'm wrong. I'm being wrong in this episode. I'm, like, getting things modelled up here. Uh, yeah, I got a bite here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this guy has a bunch of ma Magikarps then. Three Magikarps. No. Oh, he's got Goldeen, not a Magikarp. Yeah, and a Goldeen can actually attack you, whereas a Magikarp can't. <laughs> I think it can, though, once it levels up to, like, a level 15, it learns Tackle or something, but you can't do anything at level 5, because the only move that it learns is Splash, so you can't do any, like, offensive damage against another opponent, because Flash, uh, because the move Splash does absolutely nothing. It's the most useless move in the entire game. And we got ourselves a polywag, the one with the swirly belly button. It's gonna make us hypnotized. Not today, sister. Not today, sister. Um. Uh, should I keep battling? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm actually gonna get Vaporeon out here because in the Pokemon Tower we can do anything with Vaporeon because we was um, facing a bunch of ghosts. But now that we aren't facing any ghosts, we can actually take damage against the opposing Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use Quick Attack. Wow, I'm surprised Vaporeon actually doesn't know any water type moves. It's a water type Pokemon and it's starter type moves. They don't. She hasn't got any water. Or he hasn't got any water type moves. So we've only just got Quick Attack, which is the only uh, attack move we have. I guess I could teach. They pour on some TMs, if I have any TMs, but I'm not sure if I have a, like any water type TM moves. I'm pretty sure I got one from the Pokemon, g the second Pokemon gym, the water one, in Cerulean City. I, th I swear I got a water type H HM from there. Fisherman Ned, Ned Flanders. Oh no! I did the eye, neighbor. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get, uh, yeah, where, where's my TM case? I was on the wrong friggin' section. <laughs> okay, so we got Water Pulse. Uh, anything else? Nope, just Water Pulse. Is Water Pulse a very good move, though? It's power 60, uh, accuracy 100, PP 20. Yeah, that sounds pretty decent. So I'll, I'll teach that to uh, Vaporeon. Well, Darth Vader can learn pretty much everything by the looks of things. Darth Vader can even learn Water Pulse. I, I, oh yeah, that's a point. Um, you know Meowth, 
You know he learnt the um, HM cut. Well, I obviously put Meowth in the PC to replace... No, I replaced Meowth with Vaporeon, so I put Meowth in the PC. And he le and Meowth was the one that learned the move cut, so I had to teach the move cut to um, Darth Vader instead. So I'm just getting rid of Sand Attack, because I'm not going to use that. But yeah, Darth Vader now learns cut. Or now knows cut, and uh, Meowth is now in the PC, obviously, because we now have a new um, affiliate to our team, which is Vaporeon, obviously. Yeah. Oh god, he spotted me! He saw me! Quick, hide! Turn into a statue! Put on the stone mask, damn it! <laughs> Could you hold that rod in a more suggestive position, seriously? Like,. I don't know, man. Put that thing away. <laughs> I won't want. Fi I wouldn't want fish nibbling on my knob or on my rod. Fish nibbling on my rod. <laughs> okay, that's just gross. Um, seismic toss. Hey, hey. whoa! Um, constrict. Yeah, Mega Punch. So yeah, these past few days, um, while I've been gone, I've been contemplating on whether or not to do a third LP, uh, to like add, add a third LP into the mix. But I'm not sure if to do that though, because I've been thinking about you guys and whether you would actually appreciate me doing three LPs at once or if you would like that change, but I'm not entirely sure whether to do that, because I was thinking of doing an Animal Crossing LP as well as Pokemon and Mario Galaxy. But obviously if I do that, the videos will be a lot more shorter because I don't want to consume all your time with my videos, whereas you probably want to be watching other YouTubers as well, not just me. So I don't want to be hogging up all that time. Whereas you guys obviously don't want to be watching me all the time, you want to go ahead and watch someone else's videos, and I don't really want to clog up all your time with all my videos. So if I was doing three LPs at once, I'll have to make the videos a lot more shorter. But that's the point. The whole point is, is you guys, and you're what I'm doing. Well, yeah, I'm doing these videos for you and for the purpose of my entertainment, because or the purpose for my enjoyment, because it's a passion. And I like recording videos, and I like playing games, and that's what I do. And I just want to make you guys feel comfortable with my schedule and what I want to do because I need to think about you as well as myself. But I'm not, I wouldn't do three LPs just for me, I'll do it for you guys too. But that's the thing, I need to know your opinion on that. But I'm pretty sure you would appreciate me doing three. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to do three or not. That's the whole... That's what's been bugging me these past few days, is whether I should do three. Because, I mean, the Animal Crossing videos won't be that long, I don't think. The Pokemon videos will probably be the longest videos, and then Mario Galaxy will be about 10 minute videos. So, I think Pokemon will be about 15 minute videos, and then... Mario Galaxy and Animal Crossing will be about 10 minute videos. So that's about, well, 15 and 15 is 30, 10. That'd be about 40 minutes. No, wait, no. 15 add 10 add 10. So that'd be 30, no, 25, I think. I'm bad at math, dude. I suck. <laughs> 10 add 10 is 20. Then 15, which is 35. Yeah, 35, I think. Yeah, so that'd be 35 minutes, and sometimes I record 35 minute videos anyway. So I'm not sure what to do. But then, while the cables are being, up, while the um, order for the cables and stuff are being updated, I've also ordered other things besides the cables, obviously. I've ordered some Nintendo 64 games. I've also ordered myself a Super Nintendo, because I want a Super Nintendo. Um, 
and I've also ordered some DS games as well, such as Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. I've played, I've already owned Zelda Phantom Hourglass, I've had it before, but the only problem is that I can't play it now because I still have the cartridge, the original cartridge I bought when the when the game was first released. But the only problem is it's so damn dirty, it doesn't work with my Nintendo DS, it's just like, fuck that shit. I'm not reading you, you're too dirty. <laughs> you're too dirty to be read. Go away. But yeah, my DS does not accept my Zelda um, Phantom Hourglass cartridge, so I've gone ahead and bought myself a new copy. And uh, I've also ordered Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, which I also used to own, but I managed... I think I sold it, I can't remember. I either sold it or I lost it. I can't remember now, but that game was so fun. I got right to the final boss, but the only problem is I couldn't beat it. <laughs> it was so damn tough. And I was quite high level too. I mean, that game was really fun. The story was awesome. Some funny cutscenes in it too. <laughs> but yeah, if you played any of the Mario RPGs, it's practically like the same kind of humor. If you played Mario and Luigi Superstar Zega on the Game Boy Advance, which was the first one in the um, Mario RPG series, well, technically, people say that. Marion the, Marion the Wizard Superstar Zaga is the first in the Mario RPG series, but they are wrong if they say that because I don't know whether the one on the Super Nintendo is a part of that series or not, or whether it's just its own separate series because the one on the Super Nintendo just has Mario, whereas this one has Mario and Luigi. So I don't know whether it's the first in the Mario and Luigi RPG series or whether it's just in the Mario RPG series in general. Because, don't forget, you also have Paper Mario as well, which is also a part of the Mario RPG um, genre. Like, you have Mario, Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64, which uh, I got pretty far in that game too. I got to Yoshi's Island, I think it was. And then I stopped playing it for a while. Uh, well, I, well, actually, I haven't played it since. Same with A Link to the Past. I haven't beat that game. And I'm at Ganon's Tower and I can't do Ganon's Tower. Because I'm lost in there. I don't know where to go or anything. I mean, I've got all the heart containers. I've got practically everything in the whole game. I've got the silver arrows and everything. I just... I'm just lost. I don't know where to go. I'm stuck. <laughs> and I still haven't beaten it. And I started that fire like five years ago. Well, no, tell a lie. About three or four years ago. Probably three actually, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I started the game about three years ago. Got to Ganon's Tower, stopped playing it because I got ridiculously stuck. And we got ourselves another double battle here. Ooh. One of the few only double battles in the game. Because there aren't that many of these. These are actually kind of unique, but you see them a lot in like other generation Pokemon games, but for. This kind of, well, I'm not sure whether you got any in Pokemon Crystal or not, because I haven't played that game in a long, long time. Either, I haven't played Pokemon Crystal in a long time, and I have Pokemon Heart Gold version, which is basically the remade version of Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Silver, and Pokemon Gold. But except from in Heart Gold, I think you can only catch a Ho-Ho and a Su Suicune. I always used to call Suicune Suicon. I don't know why. Like when I was younger, I always used to call it Suicon, not Suicune. But now that I hear everyone say it's called Suicune, I say Suicune. And here we go. This is the Care Bear, the giant sleeping fat Snorlax. Man, you're the thing that's been blocking my way this whole time. Yeah, well, it's about time you get punched in the crotch. Almost. On his belly. <laughs> and I hardly took any damage to it. Uh, it's resting, probably dreaming about donuts. Oh man, I'm Homer Simpson. I dream about donuts, man. <laughs> well, that, well, that was a very bad Homer Simpson impression just then. Uh, he ate a chesto berry. And he woke up from... What was the point in that, dude? Seriously? Well, just to recover your health and be a dick. Okay, then now you're going get, to get kicking the balls. Not punching the balls, but a kick. Uh, he's still snoring.
Uh, yawn. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get his health down low, but he's gonna keep on using rest, isn't he? I bet he'll use rest on, like, the last bit of hate. WHAT?! Whoa, 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 whoa. No. No. Oh, why? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just a Snorlax, dude. Just get over it. I mean, there are two of them. But I don't know what the other one is. That's the problem. <laughs> out of the only out of the only two I could find, I kill one of them, and now there's only one more left, and that's my only chance of getting a Snorlax on my party. But at least I got it recorded on my Pokedex, I guess. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes. Grand. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this fish, young friend. Take this fish. Uh, we got ourselves a super rod. So we've now upgraded our rod. Yeah, that Viagra's working a treat, isn't it? <laughs> fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. What is it with you guys saying fishing is poetry? Like, say Shakespeare didn't write about fish, did they? Or did he? No, he didn't. He didn't say, oh, that fish... It looks so fine and sexy, or whatever. I don't know what Shakespeare said in his poems. I don't read Shakespeare. Well, I probably did in school, but I can't remember it. <laughs> Electricity is my speciality. I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea, though. I wouldn't go running around with a cable wire like that near the sea because you could end up electrocuting yourself, sir. It's not very healthy. Using dangerous equipment near water, oh, well, especially if it's electricity, you'll end up killing yourself, you daft punk. Uh, <laughs> daft punk. So the angry Pokeball now succumbs to the earth and dies and goes through the floor. <laughs> Just like every other Pokemon. Oh, we're fighting Electrode. 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 <laughs> Electrode. Ah, uh, using Screech on me. Using Screech on me. Okay. Well, yeah, you're gonna get a punch in the face. Fuck on punch! Pigmonk punch! <laughs> Pigmonk punch. <laughs> well, that actually has a nice ring to it. Pigmonk punch. Nine hundred and thirty-one. We got ourselves to level thirty-two. Nice. Luca. Or was that Lucas? I don't know. It could have been Luca. could have been Lucas. I don't know. I don't know. But we have ourselves a tree that we have to cut, so let's do this. I, uh, it's a good thing that I actually got Darth Vader out to uh, learn the move cut, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get this chest right here. But uh, to get the chest, we have to fight a trainer. I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? Um, yeah, in fact we have, I think. Yeah, we have. I used it on my Nido Reiner. To evolve it. Oh no, Camper Justin. Camper Justin Bieber. Oh man. Well, you're definitely going down now. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to die. It's just inevitable. You have to die. Seismic Tuss. Seismic Tuss. Seismic Tuss. Oh, dude. Seriously. I toose you with the foose. I toose you with the foose. I like it. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, he's using his horn attack. I'm very low on health and I'm going to die by poison. Oh no. Uh, well, payback's a bitch, huh? Revenge is futile. You must die. <laughs> the piquant smell of a burning need of rhino. Yeah, it smells so good. Player defeated Camper Justin. Ow. Were you on your period? Okay, fair enough. Uh, I got myself some iron. Right, so we got ourselves some iron. Let's ingest this iron. Let's ingest this iron bar and turn into Iron Man. Hell yeah! Oh, what am I doing? I'm <laughs> going all over the place here. We got ourselves a rare candy as well. Well, hell, I might as well give that to Falco then. Um, the iron. What does the iron do? A nutritious drink for Pokemon. It raises the base defense stat of a, of one Pokemon. Well, that's obvious who I'm going to give that to. Oh, go away, man. Seriously, don't go getting on my screen like that. Freaking applications, I tell you. They're, like, coming up from everywhere. It's just like a zombie apocalypse of applications. Like, killing one by one. And I think... Oh, what the hell, dude? Why aren't you... No, why hasn't Falco evolved yet? It's level 35. Is it level 36 you evolve then? I swear it's a Pidgeotto, not a Pidgeot. If it's a Pidgeot... No, it's still a Pidgeotto. It's still a Pidgeotto. Well, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I have to s well, I'm not in a rush to evolve it anyway. I know I may sound like I'm in a rush to evolve it, but... It is doing quite good. It's powerful. I would say it's probably well it actually is one of the most powerful Pokemon I have on my team at the moment. It's level thirty five. Most of my Pokemon are Well Vaporeon is now the only Pokemon in the twenties, I think. Oh yeah, I knew it. You just had to go ahead and use a magic cap. Yeah, well your magic cap is about to be metal cord. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh wow, Magikarp actually learned attack, learned a new, learned a new attack, learned tackle. Wow, this is unbelievable. And I got 102 EXP from it. <laughs> and he's gonna summon another one, right? Okay. Uh, Raichu can do this, I guess, because uh, electric against water is super effective. So why not do that? Why not do it? I like how Pichu, Pikachu hold his hands out like he was giving, wanted to give the Pokemon a hug and now Raichu's kind of doing the same but he's got more stubby hands so you can't really see it that well. But you can kind of see it. It's like saying, Magikarp, give me a hug, feel the love. Feel the love, Magikarp, feel the love. Uh, Andrew. Yep. 164 Pokemon dollars for winning. Okay, is there any Pokemon here that I can catch in this grass? Well, uh, I don't know. Well, I could catch a new Pokemon with a uh, Super Rod, I guess. Give that a try. Oh, we got ourselves a Venonat. Oh, wow. We haven't come across one of these before. This is new. So, we're going to go ahead and catch this, I guess. It's level 24. Uh, so, it's going to be kind of a bit risky going straight on in, throwing a Pokeball at it. So we'll we'll uh, leave our balls until we've actually taken some damage to this thing, because you know we just love throwing our balls everywhere, like they're nothing. Quick attack! Do some damage against this thing. Oh no, it's using confusion. And now he's got my Vaporeon. Uh, eluded by the rubber duckies again, so I'm going to try and use Rage you, but I'm probably making a very big risk here because I know that I'll probably end up killing it if I use an electric type move anyway because it is a bug type and I think electric against bug is super effective. That I'm not sure of. So, slam into it. If I kill it, it's my fault. Yep, yeah, my fault.
Oh, Vaporeon <laughs> had reached level 26. That was unsurprising. That was very surprising. Uh, see what else is in here. I'm curious. Uh, an Oddish? Nah, that's crap. I don't want an Oddish. Well, I guess I could meet you in another Venonat battle if you wanted me to. But I don't know how long I've been recording here. I could have been recording over 30 minutes. I'm not sure. I'm getting way too carried away here, actually. Yeah. But uh, let me let me just see. I want to see if there's a Venonat. I think we're coming coming to a close at the end of the route here, so we don't have that much left to go before we reach our next town. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Uh, I could go ahead and just throw another great ball out, or just throw a great ball at it, see what happens. I might not catch it though. Oh man, so close! I thought I was actually going to catch it then. Oh. Alright, okay, let's give it another go. Oh, no, it's getting more powerful. Uh, uh, it's breaking out. Well, I could try it again and see what happens. Oh, no, poison powder. Go away, dude, seriously. Get that crap out of my face. Oh, he's... No, uh, there's no chance. I had more of a chance the first time around. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run away here. It's just a Venonat. I mean, they're everywhere. You can catch one in the next route, probably. So, you know what? I'm just going to run away and leave him to it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you to it. Uh, I was going to try and use the Super Rod, but... I don't... Uh, oh, wow. Um... I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelun spelunking. Spelunking. What kind of word is that? Spelunking. Never heard of that before. <laughs> Goldine. Well, you know what these games are like. They just like to make up their own words. I don't know. I've never heard of that word before. Spelunking. Sounds kind of like... I uh, know. <laughs> I know what it sounds like. Oh, stop using those freaking ducks, dude. I'm getting sick and tired of those things running around my head. Six hundred and sixty six, the number of the beast. Well we got well that that means bad luck, I guess. We got ourselves some bad luck here. <laughs> 666 EXP. Uh, that's not good. Not good at all. I guarantee I'm going to die against this Poliwag now. Watch. Maybe. I don't know. Flamethrower isn't very effective against it. But we'll see how much damage it takes. Oh, it killed it. It killed it. At least that cloud had a silver lining. Uh... But let's see if this cloud has a silver lining. Because uh, this is also a water type. And it could use water gun because it does no water gun. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, and that was a critical hit. And it only took like half of its health away. Oh, it was being stupid. It used Leer. Uh, prepare for your death. Prepare for your doom. And I only have one HP left. You're going to get ripped off here, horsey. Because... Yeah, I know how you feel. Dying to a Pokemon that only has one HP left. Alma. Oh, I know that name. That's from the game Fear. Alma. Yeah. Flipper fainted. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to end off the video here and continue on the next episode. Because I think I've recorded way too long here. Or long enough. So... In the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, I guess we'll be making our way to the next city, possibly catching ourselves some new Pokemon along the way, because we now have the Super Rod. But yeah, until then, take care everybody. This is NDM saying thanks for watching, see you on the next video, and goodbye.